guys, Andrew has been to work, man. I haven't been here in a few days. Andrew doesn't have the camera, so we'll have to catch back up on what he got done. Um, I'm pretty sure when we left off, we got the transmission in. They didn't see the fire up either, did they? No, I didn't have the camera. We've got it fired up. So, yeah, I'll just show you guys. So, there we go. So, we got the O2 sensor in here. We got the Y-band in here. He got the wastegate plumbed up, as you can see off the back there. Um, not sure what we're going to do with this yet. We'll probably throw it into this or dump it into the fender. Who knows what we're going to do with that out the hood like mine. We'll see. <laughs> probably not. Um, but all of this is wrapped, painted, all on for good. He's got his gaskets. This side's on his starter. Oh, is that a starter I see down there? Yeah. He's got a new starter on it. Um, it's all wrapped. Everything's clearing everything. Is your fitting in for this? No. No, so we're still waiting on the fitting for this to tap it right down here. Um, then we'll do a nice fresh oil change on it. Um, I picked up some three inch pipe today so we can finish the exhaust. And Andrew's just cleaning up some wiring, kind of tucking all this out of the way, cleaning all this up a bit, that sort of thing. He got the firing order on the plugs messed up, so it just filled the exhaust full of kind of fuel, wasn't firing, and then finally when we did fire it up, there's a huge backfire, and it shot a huge flame and a bunch of stuff out of the pipes. We wanted to clean the pipes out so that everything didn't go through here and mess it all up. We just blew it out the top there, um, which I'll throw a picture of that in. Uh, and then we fired up, gave it a little revs, got the pipes all hot, make sure there was no leaks, and then he added the wrap to them. Um, so that should keep the engine bay temperatures to the minimal. But transmission's in, drive shaft's in. The only thing really we have left to do is intercooler piping. And um, you Fuel ordered, system. yeah, your injectors today? Yep, I have ordered a set of 47 pound uh, Ford racing injectors off of the uh, Ford Performance. They'll fit just right in. Awesome. Should be awesome. Fuel pump, Walboro 450? Yeah, I'm either thinking of Walboro 450 or a Aeromotive. I'm still looking at some of their pumps, but yeah. a little more expensive than I want. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Um, and then once we get this pig out of here, my truck's coming in. And then we'll have two turbo trucks by the spring. So, we'll, uh, we'll get to work. So, of course, I have the camera off when Andrew... Um, burned his eyebrow with the slag off the welder, so I came to get his welding mask, one so he can see, and two so he doesn't burn his eyebrow again, but we got the welder, ran underneath the here, here's the mask, and uh, slide under here, but we got the muffler here, we're welding the bracket on right here, good old threaded rod, and that's going to come back and we have a bunch of joints and stuff laying down over here and a rough estimate on where our tip's going to go out the back. Um, but we're kind of going to work from the front to the back, the back to the front here. To go from here and make this connection. Um, and then this is all going to be one piece out the back. So we're going to get this where we want it. So we have, we can work from the turbo to the front of the muffler here. And then we're working from here once the muffler's where we want it. So Andrew's going to weld this and then I got all these funky pie cut angles that we're going to manipulate down here to here. Yeah. So. Hopefully I will not burn my eyebrow again. Yeah. And this is actually the muffler system we took off of it. So the corset tips were on the end of this. Three inch down to two and a half. Two and a half through a glass pack. Um, and then the other Y band, or not Y band, O2 sensor we had. And then this is actually a cat off of my truck, the Chevy, um, which Andrew so kindly drilled a hole through. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but he drilled a big hole through it. But that was the old system on the truck. So we took the tip off. And now the new system is this beautiful Borla exhaust muffler. What is what muffler again? XR1. XR1? All right, XR1. So it's going to go three inch from the turb skis here down to the, I forget the name of it. The XR1. The XR1, the muffler, and out the course of tips. All righty. Well, this is what we got so far. I'm taking a break. Andrew is welding. Um, we got the tip where we wanted it to. We got the muffler where we wanted it to. 
All we have to do is connect the down pipe down there to the muffler, which is beside the transmission, and the exhaust is done. So that's what you got there. We got the nice muffler here, the bracket on it, all this nice angles. I'll get behind Andrew here. All these nice pie cuts and angles to get right where we want. Well, it is currently, let me grab my phone here, 2.23 in the morning. And we are finally done mocking up the exhaust. As you can see, Andrew is down here making some final touches. I'm not sure how well you guys can see. Let me scoot up here a little bit. But the exhaust comes under the frame wraps up into the back of the muffler, muffler out the course of tips in the back. Ugh. And that is all from the turbo. Down pipe, under the frame, back up and in. Left us lots of room. We're both tired. We just want to hear the truck roam. Nothing's welded fully. There's going to be leaks. We don't care. We just want to hear what it sounds like. So, he's going to finish getting that tacked up, crawl up from underneath of there, and we're going to fire this thing up. really loud we're really tired and there is quite a bit of exhaust leaking going on because it's just all tacked to be honest so I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow but uh, yeah quiet loud tuned sounds good yeah what do you say let's go to bed yeah all right Peace out, guys. All right, guys, it's the next day, and voila. We have our exhaust system. So Andrew's going to get crawling underneath the truck right now, and uh, all of this is good. That goes down into the, oh, that's a tire. Right here, goes under. We have tons of room and then out. See how this new clutch feels? Nice and easy. Keep coming. Whoa. That's all you got.
like it's leaking at the V-band there a little bit. Leaking off the bottom of the uh, V-band there, I think. Out of that one? It's not bad though. Well, just let it get warm, some warmth in the pipes there. All under there sounds good. Tons of clearance. Well, I'd say that's a success right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think? Happy? Yeah, I like it. I want to hear it rev up a little bit more. I can't hear it when I'm in the truck, so. It's true. How'd the clutch feel? Good. It grabs really early. Yeah? Like it, like the moment I brought my foot up off the floor, it would move. Awesome. 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 Wicked. Well, that's that. Next up is uh, fuel system and intercooler piping, and then uh, we're done. <laughs>